Okay, so with drawing the human figure, you have to get all the right sizes and the proportions of the different part of the body onto the page without accidentally running out of space, and then you're, you're hooped. And then the next part is getting um, contouring and highlighting to get a three-dimensional shape to uh, the body. There I'm drawing in darker areas and lighter areas to give it a three-dimensional appearance. And then uh, the lines are very light to start with, and then you sort of go over the lines very lightly to, to get more shape to them. You're building dimension in the, in the body. And it takes a little bit of time, and then eventually you can manipulate the form to to give it texture and to give it depth and dimension. And then what I've done here is I started to color in, but I still managed to keep the shape and the texture and the lines to to give the appearance to the, the rendering of the her genes. And if you can do that with color then you're doing pretty well. So it's just it's small light lines that make the, uh, the the appearance of the genes and also the direction that you go with the with the marker I wanted those lines to curve around to the front of her leg and her other leg the lines are straight up and down so it gives the the texture of the denim and around the edges and the corners you can go over the lines a little bit more to to make it look like the the denim is wrinkling over behind her knee see there's still a three-dimensional uh, appearance to her jeans. And the same goes for her shirt too, except in the actual photo reference there wasn't too much wrinkling or overlapping of material. Uh, the best way to, to do an illustration of, of the human form is to, or with anything, is to have a photo reference so that you're drawing what you actually see on the photo, not your interpretation of what the jeans would look like while they're wrinkling over the edge of her shoe. And I never knew that the shape would actually look like that so much as it did. And if I was to draw that without a photo reference, I don't think her, her jeans would actually really look like that so much. So again, I'm also going with the direction of how I want it to look, so the material goes over her leg the proper way. And I'm just going to come around here on the bottom of her knee. And around there. And the more you go over it with the marker, the darker the lines you get. There's the photo reference there, and you can see how it sort of looks the same. I'm going to establish the, uh, the diagonal wrinkles there on the edge of her leg. And I did that with just a regular ballpoint pen, black pen, to get a scratchy texture over top of the blue marker. And her fingers aren't quite finished yet, I need to go over that with pencil too. And I used the black pen also for the texture of her hair, using the same vertical lines to, to get the each strand in darker areas. And I thought it was too light, so I had to use a black marker to get the the dark color of her hair, and then leaving some parts just with the old ballpoint pen, so they're lighter strands that the light would be catching. And still, there's a long way to go before it's finished. And I just penciled in her facial expressions and the contours of her face. fingers and your hands are going to be the last thing to do because they require more individual attention. I did her fingers a little bit more established there as she's holding up her shoe. And the edge of her face there and her hair has to be redone, has to be more refined so it's a smoother, smoother edge. But the shape and the proportions there. There I scanned in the image, and I put it into the background, and it's still far from finished. You can see the bottom of her shoe needs to be colored in. I colored in her, her skin color in Photoshop to get the right color. And the last part that I did when I finished all that was to put everything into a page layout program, and I got the swirlies there that everyone has, and I'm going to be drawing.
straighten those into the right area. I'll put in some type over top there. The type is following the contours of the tree and that's the, the typographical part that an artist can do where they don't need to have the ability to draw. And there's the finished image right there that I have. I wanted to do a design that is targeted towards um, students that may want to take graphic design or they may want to take art even though they don't have the ability to draw. Um, in the graphic design industry these days, you don't really have to have the ability to draw. Uh, you don't have to have any illustration experience. And the reason for that is because graphic design is all about uh, graphically communicating a message. It has one meaning behind the message. Art is very subjective and it's, it's a medium that can be used in graphic design, but it's not necessary. So. The target audience for this design is high school students that haven't taken an art class before even though they may have a, a creative mind or a way to uh, graphically communicate a message and they may not be aware of that. So 